apple juice, no coffee. I already had four coffee, can you tell? So, I've been editing videos and stuff, and all of a sudden, after four days of no mail, because the mail people are on strike, yay union, um, the mail person comes and brings me this. And um, uh, what is it? We're gonna do an unboxing video. Um, you know I have this stereo setup that uh, I'm planning to play for four gigs with Campaign Like Clockwork, and I'm looking forward to it. And I bought stands for it, so that I can lift up the two Bandmate 15 from Carl Martin, the roadies, so that they're kind of blasting in my face in those 112 amps, uh, you know, better heard when I'm on stage. But I found out that when you lift them up and you kind of tilt them up, they're really blasting in your face. And when you're in the middle of that cone, it's like, Ink! not so nice. The problem with the stereo setup is once you move a little bit to the left or right, where the sound is great, you might accidentally get the other amp blasting in your face. So try to find the right spot. Yeah, not happening. And then I remembered that I met Hoovy, the guy behind Deflex. I met him at the uh, music messer and I'm following him on Facebook. He posts a lot of stuff. And um, then I met him at the Tour One Sommerfest. And uh, I told him, look, I've got the stereo set up. Can your invention help? And he said, hell yes, it can help. So, well, I ordered some. And they arrived. Actually, I ordered two. This looks like one to me. And I'm thinking either one got lost in the mail and it's coming tomorrow, or there's two in here. We will find out. Deflex unboxing. What's a deflex? You don't know? Well, I would say look on YouTube, but that's stupid. Wait, and you're gonna see me playing with it and explaining it. So right now we're doing some deflex unboxing here. I'm gonna go take the camera down. Deflex unboxing. This is like Christmas. <laughs> Only that it's really hot outside. Let's see. I I'd be afraid to hurt them. On the other hand, I have been told that they are made out of the same stuff that airplane windows are made out of and bulletproof glass or bulletproof plexiglass. So, um,. Apparently trying to break them is not really happening. Yes, there's actually two in here. They are stackable. <laughs> and there's actually a big ass operation manual. Can you believe it? Now that is freaking awesome. I mean, an operation manual with a lot of pictures for a useful piece of plastic. Well. They really want to help you find the right use and, and help you just... I mean, this is killer! Seriously! I mean, I look at the details, how th something is boxed and... I mean, wow! Hoovy, way to frickin' go! Way to go! And then we have... Facebook, YouTube, homepage. They want you to be connected. This is awesome. So here... This is like unboxing gold, it's really awesome. Thick ass bubble wrap, come on. Fuck the deflex. Bubble wrap. I'm gonna be a while. So here it is. Here is the Deflex. Actually, the uh, it's the H1 edition, which means it's got this extra piece in the middle and it's a little bit gray on top. The other one is just clear. And let me see how you unhook this. So maybe I should read the manual before I break this. Ah, apparently you can't break it. How do you... Technically, you just shove it up. No, you don't. Well, you can move this down. I will show you later. So here's the deflex. And you would think, well, isn't this just a piece of plastic? Well, it's a little bit more than that. And it'll look like this. No. 
need this part. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Obviously, we have to find out where the middle is, but we're kind of okay here. I'm gonna read the manual for this to really make sure. And then we have a second one, but remember it was meant for the stereo setup. Doesn't really hurt the 212 either. I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna be a lot of fun to play in this room with this Karl Martin 212 loaded with vintage 30s. This is easy. That's really, oh, really? You don't even have to lift the amp. I'm stupid. Shove it under there. Well, it really couldn't be easier. Installation done. Take it, shove it. Position it centered, and you're good. And it really, it really doesn't look horrible or, you know, make your amp look weird on stage. Awesome. So the next test is how do I move them to the gig? Because I was afraid that these would be, you know, clumsy and difficult to move around. Well, let's find out. Oops. Well, here's half of my stereo setup which is the Gator 112 case, which is very nice. And I used to put the amps on here. I don't have to do that anymore, because now with the Deflex, I can actually put them on the ground. But there's quite a bit of space in here. Now I want to see, can I fit the Deflex in the case? Hmm. I was hoping I could, let's see. Close. Hmm. We'll try again. I think I can try as much as I want to. I'm not gonna fit this in here. Well, no worries. Well, I'll show you my setup and then I'll show you how I'm gonna do this. Amp number one. Number two. Pedal board number one. Goes on amp number one or two. Pedal board two. And you can actually move them like this from the car. So that's pretty much two trips. Guitars on your back. What am I gonna do about the deflex? Let me show you. Oh, oopsie. Oh, you know what? If they don't fit in the amp case. We have this. It's an old blanket that my mother made for the amp stands, which I don't need anymore. Maybe it is a Deflex carry case with Velcro. And we're going to take the Deflexes and put them in here. They are protected. We close the Velcro. Put your stage clothes in there and cables and whatever else you need. And there's a very nice Deflex carry case. Smack it on top of this. And here we go. Bye bye. Second amp, second pedal board, deflex, second trip to the car. Bye bye. Nido. Well, what do they sound like? Now that's a more complicated video, and I'm gonna have to, you know, hear for myself. So, I'll see you later. <laughs>